What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this wing nut. Okay, let's hop right to it. First, we're going to create a new design. We're going to start out with a sketch on the top plane. Next, we're going to select the center circle. We're going to give it a 20 millimeter diameter. I basically put this up here as a shortcut in case you see them up here. You may not see it on yours. If not, what you can do is go down to circle and select center diameter circle or just hit the C command. Next, we're going to finish the sketch. What we need to do now is create an offset plane. We're going to select a previous sketch profile. We want this to be about 12 meters of millimeters above. Click OK. I'm going to create a sketch on the plane we just created. I'm going to select another circle. This time we'll just press the C key. In the center of the previous circle, and we're going to give it a 16 millimeter dimension. Okay, we're going to finish the sketch. Next, we're going to be using the loft command to join these two profiles together. We're going to click on the top profile, bottom sketch profile, and as you can see, it's going to join these two together. Click OK, and there you have it. Next, we're going to appear to sketch on this top face. We're also going to create a center circle and give it a 10 millimeter dimension. Now we can go directly to extrude, which is what we're going to do without having us finish the sketch. So we're going to hit the E key. We're going to select the profile we just created. And we want it to go through to the other side. So all I need to do is turn it over to the bottom and just collect, excuse me, touch this bottom face and it goes right to the bottom of the face. We click OK, and we want it to cut. Now we have a hole. OK. Next, we're going to give this edge at the top and this edge at the bottom about a 0.5 millimeter chamfer. And click OK. Next, we want to add the threads. So we want to select the thread command. Select this inside wall. And we definitely want it to be modeled, so we're going to click the uh, modeled. Uh, we're going to check the modeled section. You can choose to do whatever you feel like, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and use the dimension M10 by 1.12 millimeters. And click OK. OK. Now, time for us to create the wings. We're going to create the wings. I'm using this create a sketch on the front plane. First things first, I'm going to hit the P key for project because we want to project this silhouette. It's very, very hard to model or actually create geometry on top of round faces. So we're going to select bodies and click on this profile. Click OK. All right. Next, we're going to create a center circle off to the side with about 16 millimeter diameter. OK, now we want to constrain this circle and put it exactly where we want it. However, to do this, we're going to knock out two birds with one stone. We're going to create a construction line. And this will aid us in our setup. Construction line, I'm going to start at the bottom of the center. 
and bring it up just slightly above this profile. All right. Turn it off. I always remember to turn off the construction line, if the construction uh, line type, if you don't want to use it again. I've made a mistake of doing that quite a few times. At any rate, let's get down to setting these dimensions. First things first. I'm going to select the center of the circle and the top of the construction line. We're going to make this distance 18 millimeters. Okay. I'm going to select the center once again, but this time selecting the bottom of this point of the construction line, I'm going to make this 17 millimeters. And as you can see now, the circle is fully constrained. Next step, I'm going to be to connect the circle to this body. Now, there's a number of ways you can do this. You can also, you can basically click here on this point and bring it all the way up to the circle until you see like this tangent icon right here or you can just set it on the circle and then later on just use the uh, tangent command but for the sake of argument let's just do it, go this way until we actually get it to snap in place and we hit it and we see it's now tangent with this circle we're going to do the same thing for the bottom and there you have it it's now fully constrained and we're going to go a step further. And the reason we're going to do something like this is because, and I'll explain in a sec, when we go ahead and try to extrude this to give it some thickness, we're going to run into problems where it's going to start to separate. So what we want to do is basically take from this point down and we want to bring it inside. So we want, when we begin to extrude, we won't have that problem. And as you can see, as I drag this down, you're going to get some snapping to basically angle it the way you want. And we can stop right there, create another line. And bring it all the way down to the bottom edge. And next we're going to create another line and connect the dots completely. If I didn't do this, when I go to try to select the profiles, when I try to collect the bottom, it's going to go all the way to the side instead of just this little piece right here to get this small profile. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and create a mirror. I'm going to select these profiles. And the mirror line we're going to use is the construction line. Click OK. And there you have it. We're going to go ahead and finish the sketch. Or we could have just hit the E key and would have given us the same result. All right. So now we're going to extrude the wings. Hit the E key. Select the profiles and make sure you select the inside profile. We're going to give it a four millimeter extrusion. We want it to be joined. We want it to be symmetrical, but we want the whole length, not both sides. Click OK. It's coming together nicely. OK. Now it's time for us to start adding the fillets. First things first. I'm going to add a fillet to the top edges. Next, we're going to hit the plus symbol. We're going to add fillets to the wings as well. And we'll give them also one millimeter dimension. Click OK. Wait a minute. I may have to go back and edit that feature. 
Doesn't look like it's selected. So let's start over. All right, first things first. Select these. I'll give it one millimeter. Okay. All right, next, the wings. One millimeter as well. Now select, okay. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. The next set of fillets will be these inside edges right here. And we're going to give these a three millimeter fillet. And then finally, we're going to add fillets to the bottom. And we can hit the F key this time. I'm going to select the edges of the bottom. I'm going to give this a 0.5 millimeter fillet. Click OK. Last but not least, or finally, shall I say, we're going to go ahead and give it an appearance. Now, what I did is I created my own custom appearances. So I'm going to be adding a chrome appearance. The actual appearance that it actually gives you doesn't really look very silverish because of the reflections of the background. So I changed it slightly. And I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the lines. And that's what it looks like. And that about does it. There you have it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for watching these videos. I'm pretty sure you have other choices of videos you could actually watch to get your tutorials for Fusion 360. However, I really appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you truly did like the video, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in the upcoming future.